Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking to you at, on Tuesday at 2-ish. Two 2-ish. Two um, I was just finishing up with a card, and I wanted to show you another version of the card, so that's why I'm a little bit, a little bit late. But anyhow, I'm here. I was working on something to show you. So um, pretty soon, August 3rd, our new um, holiday catalog comes out, mini holiday catalog comes out along with that. For the first time ever, we are having celebration in the summer. So, and we have great, great, great offerings. So I thought I should bring you one of those cute little um, stamp sets that are in the celebration. So celebration is uh, special to me. That's when it used to be only um, January, February, March. And uh, this year we had January, February, and then we'll have... Um, July and August. So pretty exciting, different things. I joined Stampin' Up! during sale, uh, during celebration because I got all kinds of free stuff. <laughs> and so it was really exciting. So same thing now is that if you decide to become a demonstrator, join my team during um, celebration, you get a fabulous... Um, I, I think it's it's $99 for the, the set. It, when I joined, you couldn't you had to get like certain things. It was dictated what you got in your stamp set. You got to make a few choices, but um, not like it is now. You can get anything you want. Plus you get a bundle. They have a whole list of um, great bundles up to, one is like $50 and something, whatever, um, to, to go along with your starter kit. So pretty exciting. Anyhow, so celebration is special to me. Um, we have this cute little set. So during celebration, for every $50 in product that you purchase, you get to pick a, an exciting free item. So it can be um, designer paper, it, it's stamp sets, um, dies now. Uh, there is one stamp set that is a um, uh, $100 stamp set. So um, really pretty. So with a $100 purchase, you could pick that stamp set for free. Um, what I'm going to show you today is the Counting Sheep stamp set. So with a $50 purchase, you could get that stamp set. With another $50 purchase, you can get matching dies. Woohoo! Yahoo! That's so much fun. So if you're joining me, thank you for joining me. If you're watching me later, thank you for watching later. Um, let me know what you think and um, if there's any questions that you have. Once I turn the camera around... I cannot see who's commenting unless I stand up. So, um, hello to everybody watching. Um, I will turn the camera around. We'll get started stamping. That's what we came to watch, right? Not the chit chat, but let me turn the camera around. Ta-da. All right, we're going to go for a little ride. Whee! All my stuff is out here. So, what I thought I would do today when I show you this cute little set... Here's the cute little set, Counting Sheep. So with a $50 purchase, you can get this for free. And then with another $50 purchase, you can get the matching dies. So the dies have <clears throat> cut out all the little sheep. We cut out a flag, a balloon, a really cute fence that has texture to it, clouds, and the sun, and a little birthday hat. So super cute. So I thought, I'm gonna play with that today. So this was the card that I made playing with this. It reminds me of like a storybook card, right? Very light, pastel-y, um, kind of fun. I used my watercolor pencils to color in everything I did. I used the watercolor pen pencils with um, my blender pen. So, um, and then I used brushes for the background. So really fun. I thought I would show you that one now. That's what we're going to show. And then I do have an alternate um, a cray I call it the Crayola color one. <laughs> so I have an alternate version of the exact same card um, with a few uh, little changes if you're not into all the coloring and uh, fussing. But um, to me, it just looked like a soft storybook card. So here we go. Some of it I did ahead of time. So I have something so you didn't have to watch me do the whole thing and cut everything out. So the first thing I'm going to do is Let's see here. I'm going to do my background. So I love using the brushes for the background. So, and this is our, this is the Stampin' Up! brush. It is so fine and so, um, it's so tight, but so soft. I just, I love it. This is one that I had before we had it. 
and much coarser, not nearly as nice, but it is what I have. So um, I'm using that, but I prefer this one that's um, really good. So I am using uh, Granny Apple Green, because that's a happy color, and Balmy Blue, one of my favorite blues. So that's going to be my sky. So I'm just going to create a background here with the, with the brushes, the blending brushes. When I use the brushes, um, I want to do like two-thirds of this with my Balmy Blue. And I just um, tap my uh, ink pad here. And then I kind of start off the edge. And then I go into it and kind of push down. You're going to get, and I just go in circles. So it takes a little bit to start out and you know sometimes it looks like oh I don't even have anything on it but you do and what I do is I like to get kind of a hard edge see how it's a little bit darker when I first start on the edges here I like getting that hard edge and then just kind of brushing it all in softly and you're going to get light and dark and kind of, well, it's supposed to be a sky. So that's what I'm kind of going for here. Kind of getting not one solid color, right? I just want to get kind of a cloudy, kind of a pretty blue sky. So there we go. Let's do a little bit more down over here. And then I'll have my little sheep done here. I love the dyes. It's so nice to have the dyes that match right away. So I was excited about that. And, um, you know, so you can use them or, or not. You could use it without the dies, but so much easier. There we go. There's my sky. I'm going to close this up. And now we're going to do our, our little granny apple green for the grass here. Whoops. Moving it around, moving it around. You get some interesting uh, patterns here on your... Uh, the grid paper too so I'm just tap tap tapping starting out off of the paper and then going over in circles on the paper and I just continuously move so you're not stopping and starting and so I'm just always moving it and moving that color around and I'm just using basic white cardstock oh the dog wants to lay down go on you can lay down she's under my desk <laughs> So you just want to use, um, yeah, I'm just using basic white cardstock today on here for the background. So you can go as light or as dark as you want. There we go. And I'm just creating, creating the background for my little sheep. I'm going to go a little darker over here. There we go. Okay. That should be good. And it just kind of blends in the middle there. So I'm going to close this. Well, not going to close that up yet. What I'm going to do is put my little grass marks. They have little grass uh, stamp. So I'm just going to randomly stamp that. Give it a little bit of uh, direction right off the sheet and just kind of all over the place. There we go. Just random. Ta-da. Some of it will be covered up, but that's okay. Now I can close this up. I'm all done with this. So, ta-da. I'm going to set that aside, and then I'm going to bring my little sheep over. Now, what I did on, um, here's one that I colored already, and I'm going to show you how I colored that. So, I have my little um, gate already cut out, and I have the clouds cut out. So, I'm just going to put those there, and here's my other little pieces. So, I have in the inside, there's a flag. I have two balloons on the outside. So here's my balloons, here's my sun, here's my cute little party hats that I already colored and cut out with the die cuts, and here's another balloon. Okay, so when I use my uh, watercolor pencil, so I used a watercolor pencil's assortment number one for this um, project. So I have Daffodil Delight, I have Melon Mambo, Basic Gray, Basic Black, um, Bermuda Bay, and pumpkin pie. Those are the colors that I used. So on my little sheep here, I wanted to, they already have these little lines kind of defining. So I took my uh, basic gray and all I do is kind of uh, go around the outside of it, of my little sheep here. And 
And then where they have the lines, I went over these lines too to show the fluffy, the fluffy sheep fur here. There we go. So I just kind of went all the way around. This is why I did one ahead of time because there's a lot of um, kind of repetitiveness in this. But if you like to color, and I had people at class that like to color, Lynn, I know you like to color. Um, this would be perfect for you. <laughs> there we go. So I did that. And then I went with my basic black. And I put in just a little. And I'm going to use the blender brush so I don't have to worry about covering every little bit up. Because the blending brush is going to do that for me, the blender pen. And then I did a tiny little bit on his cheek. I had to give him a little pink. And that's all on him. So... You take your the um, blender pen, and I always kind of go just to make sure everything is clear. I'm going to start out because the lightest thing on here is the little cheek, so I'm just going to blend that a little bit. And all that does is sort of, it feels like it melts uh, the, the pencil that you put on there. And then all around where I put this, I'm just going in little circles. And it just kind of melts that in and gives my little sheep definition. It's a real soft look. See that? So it just kind of melts and moves around those pencil marks so that you don't even see the, you know, the, the lines so much. It just kind of melts in. And there we go. Gives my sheep some definition. And then I'm going to go here by the black so you can see that it's not all covered, but once I use my blender pen, it's like magic. It colors that in, ta-da, just like that. So, and then when I'm done, I just go like this. I'm not going down on the point. I'm having it on the side and just ro rotating it back and forth until it comes out clear again. Then I put my cap back on. So this little guy will get cut out. And then for my balloons, I did the same thing. So... I took uh, the red, the pink and the blue, so I wanted to keep with all the same colors. So all I did on my balloons, the string I want white, so I just kind of went around this a little bit like this, kind of just adding some color, and not all the way. I, I left some in the center there, and same thing with the um, my Melon Mambo. I had to look. I thought I was almost said red. Did you hear that? I almost said red but it's Melon Mambo I'm using here. And again, I did a little bit darker and then left the center kind of plain. I'm gonna take my blender pen and make sure it's, and I'm just, again, gonna go in circles around my balloon. So I'm just like melting that ink. So you don't see the lines, you just kind of see the color. Oops, kind of tried to fly away on me. There we go. And I'm just going to go over that lightly in the center. Ta-da. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and twirl it around. And then I'm going to go to my Melon Mambo and do the same thing. This one is really, you can tell a little bit more. You can just kind of see how it just sort of melts those, the lines here. And I'm just going in little circles to fill that in. There we go. So they're nice and soft. And I have kind of a, a area that's lighter in the center to sort of look like the shine on the balloon, right? So I'm going to go like this again, put the cap on. Now I'm going to do my sun. So I could have done it out of yellow, but this one I wanted the soft kind of looking. So I took my Daffodil Delight um, pencil and I'm just going on the little sun beams here. The little beams shining, shining out from the sun. And then I just went in a circle here, really fast, just like that. And I added a little bit of pumpkin in here just to give it some more definition and a little bit of coloring. So, and then I just kind of filled in. Again, just in little tiny circles. I'm just sort of melting that ink that I just, the pencil that I just put on there. And going in a circle here. And it just blends that orange in so it's, Kind of a nice little shading of my little sun. Okay, now the flag is going to go inside. 
And so I am on the flag. I took some other colors and I just, let's see, I think I started out with the pink melon mambo here and I just did little circles, adding some color. And then I went to my pumpkin pie and then I went to my daffodil delight. Ta-da, like that, there we go. And then I started out on the light end. Well, there we go. Started out on the light end. And just blended those colors in. Just like that. Ta-da. So now it's three different colors. Kind of smooth. There we go. And then I wanted to have the, the handle a little bit highlighted here. So I went with my basic black and just kind of colored down here on my handle of my flag. And I'm just gonna soften that up and melt those colors. There we go. Ta-da! Now I have my flag done. So again, I'm just going to go like this. There we go. So I have all my little elements up here. I do have to cut out my little sheep. So let me quickly do that. So I have the dies cut all three of the sheep out. I'll bring my mighty, oh, I don't have my mighty mini right here. I'm just gonna cut this out really quickly here. My little galloping sheep. I wanted to have the sheep going over the fence. I thought that was kind of fun, counting sheep. Only they're going to a birthday party, so it's a little bit different here. Here we go, so here's my, there we go, my die. Okay, let's put that paper aside and let's start assembling. So the first thing I did was I wanted my sheep, this one is gonna go down here. So, and I have this moved over a little bit. I'm just gonna trim this a bit um, right here. I'm just gonna trim it a little bit around his face. I got it over a little bit, so not enough that I have to cut out the whole thing, but I'm just gonna trim them gonna give him a little shave. How's that sound? There we go. Just a little shave. Okay. All right. So I glued him down. That was my first creature I put down. The first little element. Because he's already over the fence. So I put him like that. Ta-da. All right. Now he's gonna have a party hat on. So I have my little party hat here and I'm going to trim this edge too, just because I'm going to put that on top of him. Now I usually don't um, hold them when they're this little. I'm just holding it on the little top of the hat and I'm just going to glue this down on him, on my little sheep because he's on his way to the party. There we go. Okay. Now the fence. So this is a very cool die. And I want you to see, hi, Lynn. Hi, Cindy. You can see that it has um, texture on it. So I thought that was really, really neat. You can see I've been painting. <laughs> I'm painting Peter's bathroom upstairs. And I'm painting myself, too. Okay, so now I have my little, um, my little um, fence here. So what I'm going to do, I want my balloons to come out. I put it this way. I want my balloons to come out here. So they're kind of over my little sheep. So I just took my balloons and laid them down here on the back side of the fence. This was the easiest way. Uh, I found the easiest way, I thought, to do this. So I laid my little balloons down here like that. And then I took the mini the dimensionals. Ta-da. And let's see, I'm going to put this one up, one up a little bit more and one down a little bit. Come on, cooperate balloons. Okay. Apparently the wind has them. There we go. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to put dimensionals. I'm going to put one here. And I'm, I'm going to have to trim these up. Because even though these are mini, uh, this is minier. <laughs> So it's really tiny. 
but I'll show you how to easily trim those up here. So otherwise I just put the mini dimensionals on the corners here and then I just need to trim up this the two on the middle side and then I put big bigger dimensionals on my balloons here. So there we go. Ta-da. Okay. Now to trim those, I'm going to trim them from the front side and I'm just sneaking my paper snips up and trimming them down. And that cut them just enough so that you're not looking at the um, dimensional. So there we go. That element is ready to put on. So I'm just going to pull the backing from my dimensionals. Come on. There we go. See how they're snipped off? I find it easier to snip it off after I put it on than before. Um, and then it's exact. So here's my little fence. And I'm going to put that guy like right here. I think that's kind of even. There we go. I have my balloons. There we go. Okay, now here's my other little sheep. And so he's going to go up here because he's jumping. So I'm going to put dimensionals on him. Oh, I bent his leg. Sorry, guy. Sorry, buddy. So two on his butt and one on his head. And the rest is going to go over the fence. So I don't need to worry about that part. So here we go. Taking off my coverings on my dimensional. And then he's going right here. Ta-da! So he's jumping after his friend. He's going to have a party hat on too. On the other one, I didn't have a party hat on him. But I thought, he's going to the party. So on this one, because this is bumped up with a dimensional... I'm going to use a little mini dimensional and put it on my hat and then put it on our guy here. There we go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay. Next thing I did was add the sun. So here's my little sun, little ray of sunshine. I just put a little bit of glue in the center because I have to do some work around it. So here's my little sunshine. And then I have my clouds. Now, I did go and just brush. I had a little bit of, there's still a little bit of ink on my brush. So I just kind of brushed the edges a bit on them. Just a tiny bit, whatever was left on there. So it wasn't quite so just white against the sky. And then I put one in the front and remember I just added I'm gonna put one here partly sunny there and then remember I just added the glue underneath um, behind because I'm gonna sneak this cloud behind my little Sun so I'm gonna pick it up I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit and just put my little sunshine behind here a little oops there we go there. Well, I bent my... I'm so sorry. There we go. Sorry, little sunshine. There we go. Bent my cloud up a little, but it's going to glue down. Ta-da! Just like that. There we go. Okay, so I have the words already stamped here, and this is what I was going to do, and I was going to use my... I did use my banners, pick a punch, but this piece is very small, so when I put it in here, it gets lost. So what I do is I take a post-it note. I just tear off a piece of it. I'm gonna use that as my handle. And I'm gonna put it in here. And then I turn it around so I can make sure that I have it even in the center there. Just like that, wink, there we go. So then I can take my little handle off. This is going to have dimensionals on it also. I like to pop up the verse. There we go. And then this kind of went right up here along the edge. There. Ta-da. I put this on a piece of granny apple green. Happy green. It's a happy green. 
with my little glue. There we go. All righty. Ta-da. Doesn't it, it reminds me of the books, you know, the uh, See Jack Run, <laughs> Jack and Jill books, the Jack and Jill books. That's what it reminds me of. I just think they're so fun. I put this on the base of Balmy Blue so I could bring the sky back in. That's what we used on the brush for the sky background. So I wanted to bring that back in. Accent it a little bit. There we go. Like that. Here's our sign. It says, so glad it's your birthday. And with this one, I took my little flag. I could have used a balloon inside. I, I just wanted to use everything and see how, what I thought, you know? A little experimental. So I used my little flag and I put it down right here. So glad it's your birthday. And look, I made a mistake. You know, I, this stamped right, but then I um, put black right across the top because I had dipped my finger into my ink. So there you go, new double-sided paper. Great double-sided paper. You can use both sides. There we go. It happens to all of us. Okay, there's that. There we go. Now, uh, the next one I was going to show you, I'm not going to make it. I already made it. That's what I was doing ahead of time here. I wanted to show you another version of this card. So if you weren't into, had the time to do all the coloring and the blending brushes and all that good stuff, there is another way. <laughs> There's another way to make the same card. So here's our cute little card. You're amazing. I just think it was, it's fun. It's a fun card. Okay, so my alternate card was using um, paper. I, I did use some blends. On, on the alternate card. I used the Balmy Blue, Light Flirty Flamingo, Dark Real Red, uh, Smoky Slate, because I did the same type of thing on my little sheet, and the Light Black, uh, Basic Black Blend. So on this one, here it is, ta-da! No coloring. <laughs> this is the Crayola version. So I took a piece of Garden Green and I tore it, so I would make my the grass instead of using the blend. I use Balmy Blue again for the um, the background instead of using the brush there. Um, Mel um, Mango Melody, my favorite orangey yellow for the sun. And just kind of plain, I did use the blends on the hats to color them in. For my balloons, I cut them out with the dye, with white, and then I also cut them just the tops um, in the um, Misty Moonlight and Real Red and then just glued it on top of the white so that my string would still be the white color. And then I did the same thing for the flag. I cut the flag out in red, and then I just took my basic black um, blend and colored in the um, for the handle of the flag. So there we go. So same card, different version, uh, Crayola color version <laughs> or the pastel version. So whatever, whatever you like. Um, I thought I would hit both of them, right? So same card, really a little bit different, different look. So let me know what you think. I'm going to turn the camera around. Ta-da. Hello, Barbara. Let's turn this camera around. And whoop, back to me. Hello. All right, so that's my version of Counting Sheep, the first time I played with it, so I wanted to share that with you. I'll do some more and show you on Friday for our follow-up Friday. But, uh, oh, de see, Lynn, you would like the pastel because you love to color. But if somebody wants to do it, um, even if you were doing it with kids, maybe, that would be easier if you didn't want to do all the blending brushes and that kind of thing. But, um, but yeah, I knew that you would like the coloring. Lynn is my colorer. She likes to color. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, yep. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, tomorrow will be uh, Winging It on Wednesday. So I will pull out one of my monkey cut kits and um, do a little designing with that. Thank you for joining me today. Um, hooray, hooray, big news. We are over 400 on our YouTube 
um, followers. So I'm really excited. So for me, that's a big, uh, big accomplishment. So thank you. If you haven't joined yet, go ahead and join. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I have that every time something goes on there, you will get a notification and you'll get to watch a video. So other than that, I think I'm all set. So y'all have a great day. Um, enjoy and relax tonight. And I will see you tomorrow at two o'clock for winging it on Wednesday. Oh, there's Kat. So <laughs> thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.